we've been talking a lot today about the Super Mario Brothers movie for for good reason. It's the, like one of the most incredible, biggest success already of 2023, breaking all kinds of records, super enjoyable film, all that good stuff. But I think it's safe to say for most people that one of the, if not the most memorable part of the movie wasn't even with Mario. It was Bowser and his song Peaches, which I, it's one of those moments in a movie where you got to really focus on inhaling because I was laughing so hard. It, it, it was a little bit of a struggle to breathe. Like you're just, it was just so damn funny. And it's funny because when it started, I thought, ah, this is cheesy. You know, as he starts a song and he's playing with me, I thought this is cheesy in about 15 seconds. Like, oh my God, this is one of the greatest things I've seen on a screen in a long time. And I said on this show, maybe uh, last week, I said, I'm going to revolt if this does not get an Oscar nomination for best original song. Because here's the thing. I believe that best original song should not just be a great song. It should be a song that elevates the movie itself. You know, that, that isn't of itself, you know, a really a part of the movie and elevates it. I often kind of a bit of a cop out uh, a little bit when oftentimes the best, uh, best songs from a movie nominees are just songs that play over the, tr the end credits mm -hmm. that it's not really a part of the movie, you know? And I, and listen, many of those songs are great and I have no problem with them. Annie Lennox is into the West is, is one of those. And that's one of the most deserving Oscar wins ever for a best song. But when a song can be actually like a part of the movie, that to me is really special. And that's why I felt so much like it could. Well, variety then picked up on that and ran the story that the Peaches song from Super Mario Brothers is indeed eligible for the Oscars for Best Original Song. It is absolutely going to be eligible for that. Now, that is not to say that it will get one of those nominations. But again, and I'm not just saying it because I really like the Mario movie, that is, number one, a great song, and number two, a song that is intrinsically a part of the film, unlike 90% of the nominees for Best Song were just play over the end credits. So I am very excited about this. And by the way, did you see that they released the clip of the song on YouTube? And it was the number two trending video in the world <laughs> on YouTube was him, the, the Peaches song. This must be nominated. I don't know what happened to Celine Dion's uh, Ashes. Ash from I'm Dead so mad about it. I, I, I mean, I don't know what happened to that. Like I, to this day, I don't know what's... Was it a qualification issue? Was it maybe something uh, technically about the song that couldn't qualify? Because it? that song should not only have been nominated for best song of the year at a move in a movie, it should have won. Like it, it should have won. It's freaking Celine Dion. It's and yeah, the song. She only is goes to eleven. I oh, this this only goes to eleven. One of the greatest things ever. Anyway, Chris, you hear saw this report from Variety saying yes. The Peaches song by Jack Black in Mario will qualify for Oscar eligibility. We are caught up in the glow of Mario right now. Yeah. I get it because we really like it, celebrating the success. But honestly, can you see this thing getting an Oscar nomination and why or why not? I mean, OK, you just brought up Ashes, right? And and that is a song that was so deserving of a nomination. It's totally Because not only was it so fun and funny in the moment... It's an actually great song. That song is fantastic. Celine Dion kills it. And the fact that it wasn't nominated is just outrageous. When you look at other comedic songs that have been nominated, <laughs> you know, like, oh, I love him. If you look at Blame Canada or if you look at some things like, um, was it um, Muppet of a Man? I'm oh, a man, yeah. I'm a Muppet. Like those songs are really, really great songs, too, that have impact on the actual storyline and everything. Peaches is great and super, super fun. And I would be lying to you if I didn't say I've been listening to it every day. It's one of the things I listen to in the parking lot here to get all revved up. It's super, super fun. But is it Oscar worthy? I don't know. I don't know. It's also really early to say, and we are in that Mario glow right now. You know, we're all just basking on Rainbow Road. I don't know if this is one that really deserves to be nominated because it feels mostly like Jack Black just riffing. Come on, man. And I love him so much. If you did not fall in love with him in the holiday, you do not deserve him at his Bowser. He is perfect. He's perfect in every way. And I love him in this role so much, but I just don't know if it's 
Oscar worthy, you know? Here's what I was, I see where you're coming from, but here's here's where I would differentiate from you a little bit. Okay. I don't think the song, unlike Ashes or Into the West or a number of the other songs, I don't think the Peaches song is Grammy worthy. Mm. But again, going back to what I was saying before, it is a song that is a part of the movie itself. It's a song that by itself elevates the movie, right? Again, as opposed to all these other great songs that just play over credits at the end. I mean, this song, these are film awards and this song's actually a part of the film and it creates, I mean, this is a matter of opinion, but maybe the most enjoyable and most fun moment of the film and it's all because of this song. And if that doesn't get you in the discussion for the Oscar for best song of a movie, again, maybe not Grammy worthy, Maybe not best song of the year, period. It doesn't belong in that race, but as a part of a movie, it, I guess it'll all depend That's on fair. how the Academy looks at it, I yeah. guess. Yeah, well, and for sure other songs that come up throughout the year, too. So it could be a contender. It could be up there. Also, if you want some really great Peaches art, go to Tanya LaHoo's Instagram. She has the best Peaches drawing ever. She's wearing a Bowser sweatshirt, and I want that sweatshirt to be real. Go <laughs> check it out. All right, guys. Question is for you. What do you think about this? Variety is reporting exclusively that, yes, the Peaches song from the Mario movie is indeed, we had our doubts, but will be eligible for an Academy Award nomination. Do you think it deserves it? Do you think it will get it? Maybe not. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thought. Guys, we want to thank a sponsor of this video, Rocket Money. The average person has around 12 paid subscriptions. Think about that. If you think you're only subscribed to a handful of services, you might want to double check. With Rocket Money, you can quickly identify and cancel all of your unwanted subscriptions. Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill, is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitor your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Rocket Money will quickly and easily identify your subscriptions for you so you can stop paying for the ones you don't want and don't even use. Simply find the subscription you don't want and press cancel and Rocket Money will cancel it for you. No more long hold times with customer service or tedious emailing back and forth. Rocket Money makes canceling subscriptions as easy as the click of a button. My wife Ann and I moved out of Burbank two years ago and one of the first things I discovered when I loaded up Rocket Money was that I was still paying for a gym membership I haven't even been to in Burbank in two years. So stop throwing away your money. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to Rocket rocketmoney.com slash campia. That's rocketmoney.com slash campia. rocketmoney.com slash campia.